Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my brand new playlist. And in this playlist, as I promised, I'm going to cover uh, more on the microservices and the deployment of microservices on AWS environment and working with microservices in different type of microservice architectures. Okay. So if you uh, know my channel, I already have this playlist about microservices which talks about all different patterns and boilerplate of microservice, how to get started, how to build a minimal microservice with the with database and different type of ORMs. Now, this is the extension of that playlist or you can see the version 2 in 2023, which talks about really advanced things. But from the beginning, we are going to start with the very basic things. So after completing Uber Eats, there are some videos I need to cover. Now these are the two playlists which I will be talking about. One is the Udemy clone, sorry, uh, Airbnb clone and uh, this Node.js microservices, including developing and building these with the Express and Nest.js and deploying them using AWS CDK and uh, using AWS component SNS, SQS, DynamoDB, S3 and all. Because that, that this playlist will cover lots of areas and lots of things that uh, we will talk about. So this is the, the playlist which I was talking about. This is like you can see the placeholder, the same microservice guy in the left. Okay, so here we are going to build the service and deploy it. And uh, as you know, already know, I have already covered extensively on a microservices, how to build a service with the different ORMs, with the different framework, a minimal service. But now it's not only about building it, it's also about deploying it on the AWS platform using AWS components. And let's say if you have your own different architecture which you want to deploy on AWS ECS or Kubernetes or something else, that also we are going to talk about. So first thing is, we will just going to talk about is, okay, let's say somebody asks you to build a service, then what kind of a basic boilerplate you can use to build the extensive uh, microservice which provides you all things logger config uh, environment like all 12 factor principles can be applied in that service and that service is capable enough to do all sort of things which you expect from a microservice right and it can use an SCS express type script and different ORMs then we are going to talk about deploying with AWS so, uh, I mean, uh, earlier I used to target Heroku, but now we can do your deployment on AWS and we are going to talk about AWS CD constructs. Let's say you have a microservice which is going to read write data from the Dynamo or read write data from the MySQL or uh, from Postgres. How we do it on the AWS environment? Building a different microservice architecture. In my earlier playlist, I used only theoretical approach uh, to discuss about the event driven architecture, circuit breaker architecture and CQRS event sourcing and all. But now what we are going to do in this playlist because this is again going to be a monorepo and I'm going to put lots of different services so we can create the demos, the real live demos which can be deployable, which can be deployed on AWS environment. Okay, so we are going to talk about event driven architecture, CQRS event sourcing, circuit breaker, I mean, there are 11 or 12 different architecture pattern, patterns are there for the, the microservices, which we can discuss. Some we will do the proper demo using deploying that service as a Lambda on AWS or on ECS and seeing all these things. And for the deployment, we are going to use AWS. On AWS, we can deploy if you want your service up and running 24 seven, you can use ECS containers, either Fargate or EC2 instances for the containers or we can use a lambda and then we can take the advantage of using all the other AWS components with it just by using AWS CDK like I want to use Dynamo, RDS, S3, SNS, SQS all those things we can do because those components are also making your architecture event driven, event sourcing and all those things are possible because you are combining all those smart technologies right because AWS is providing you in hand and it's managing them by themselves. So you just need to use it. Let's say you want to have an event driven, there are lots of things, SQS, SNS you can use, where the services are decoupled, microservices are decoupled and communicating through the events. And uh, similarly, there are other architecture patterns we are going to extensively use and do the demos using the end-to-end -end setups. 
and for uh, spinning up these services we can use a simple nestjs cli or maybe express typescript setup but this is going to be full of knowledge because it's not only about building a simple rest api and all it's all about deploying and really taking the feel of the architecture, right? You have an API gateway and then there are lambdas. Lambdas are reading and writing from the DynamoDB. DynamoDB write happens and then it is creating a DynamoDB stream. Some other lambda is listening to that stream, taking some actions and updating the state of the data in the DynamoDB. Or a simple API gateway is executing your lambda and then lambda is maybe there are uh, lambda is executing or sending the event to the sqs or sns and there is another lambda listening to that event and then updating the the state of the data right so all those uh, fancy or rocket science stuff we are going to do right these are really rocket science because initially in the earlier playlist i just worked on the building the services and i didn't talk about deployment and all these architectures now we will deploy them so you just need to if you want to have an end-to-end -end understanding you just need AWS setup so let's get started it's going to be a bumpy ride we are going to do lots of things these are the section 5 section 1 you can skip because I know you are a senior dev and you might already know how to boilerplate or create a standard baseline for either using express express typescript or using nest.js with all these features where you have API documentation, API logging, API configurations, API um, managing the API environment, runtime environment, and uh, graceful shutdown if there is any error, how to manage the database connections, using these different ORMs, how to write entities, how to write a modular code using Nest.js, how to do authentication, authorization and all. Because I'm not going to put more, more, more effort here, I already have a Nest.js advanced playlist, uh, microservices playlist which covers all those things so we can just stick to one simple setup and we will we'll start deploying these things so how you can relate this playlist to earlier ones let's say we are we did uber eats clone now you want to deploy those services to aws uh, we created lots of services how you do it you can get get the input from this playlist let's say you want to build your own startup let's say uh, I, I met with one friend which is who is really interested in uh, creating a real world clone of uh, this Urban Clap. Urban Clap is an Indian startup which provides all the, the services, household services like uh, uh, furniture uh, services like if you need any plumber service, furniture service, electrician, all those things you can book online and they will come to your home and provide the services. One of my friend is interested in Malaysia to build this kind of a startup. And I'm just going to help him and maybe I will post some content here like how to build it, how to create the services and how to create an infrastructure for them and how to deploy all those things together, right? So from that also you will have an understanding that how a SaaS, SaaS based startup software as a service you are selling uh, can be useful, right? That is not a pure SaaS because you are not selling that product. You are providing that to the end users and they can just they are just buying the services online and giving you the payment and you are getting some commission when the the service is done but there can be a lots of SaaS based platform you can build you just need to know the right tools right technology right architecture and to do it in initially for the mvp phase of the startups you may use uh, some simple tech stack maybe simple monolith in the front end and back end and get this done but when it comes to the real scalable services, you need a decoupled architecture and you need to take the advantage of the services which are being provided by the AWS, Azure or GCP. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, it's going to be really uh, full of knowledge, I, I will say, I promise you. Even I did the Uber Eats clone. It's not half. Uh, we have covered more than 80 videos, extensive videos and more I will keep adding but this is the new jam which i'm going to add uh, on my channel okay thanks everyone thanks for watching